Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with a new Windows Server 2016 video implementing storage spaces and data deduplication. We are going to use a physical server on top of it. I am using LON-SVR1 which is a virtual server. So I am going to log into my virtual server showing you my server manager, my local server. The topic is actually about storage. So we will talk about storage. We will go to file and storage area where we're gonna look at a storage pool, which you don't see right now. So we are going to create a storage pool. I am putting my email as well in case if you need to get a PDF for these uh, labs. Actually, I do have all of my labs and PDF step. Uh, steps for those videos. Let's create a new storage pool. So you can give them a name. This is initial storage. So we're gonna use a storage pool one for this storage pool. I am going to use multiple disks here. We are going to use first available six disks for this storage pool each disk is about 32 gigabyte so we will accumulate about 188 gigabyte storage pool so select first six disks get the concept get the idea just to show you expanding the column just to show you if anything is hidden so this interface is uh, very familiar to you as well uh, like a windows 10 or windows server 2016 so we have completed this step with six disks so let's confirm once we created we will have a storage pool one available now. So that part is done. Now we are going to create a three way mirrored virtual disk. So we right can start from the storage pool one. And under virtual disk, we can start our visit. So click on new virtual disk from this storage pool. You see the accumulated place, accumulated uh, storage space, 188 gigabyte, 32, six times. Just click on next from the first screen. And we will give them a name, a mirrored disk because we are going to create this three-way mirrored and we're going to test actually by removing one disk and we will see the data is still available. Just get the idea, get the concept. So this is my virtual disk name. We just leave it alone as it is. Click on next. We're going to have a layout mirror the next screen just for you uh, I'm holding here just you can read that the new options and we will uh, leave a mirror option but you can click on simple click on parity once you click on it so on the right side you can read a description so it is very simple to uh, view the description or read the description And we are going to have this as a three-way mirror. So select that one. I'm going to close this pop-up. And we're going to have a provisioning type thin. And we're going to have this 10 gigabyte in size. And we're going to create. 
वंस वी क्रिएट वी कैन व्यू द रिजल्ट दिस इज एन अवर व्यू स्क्रीन एंड वी वांट टू मेक श्योर वंस इट इज डन that create a volume when this wizard closes is selected so we can create a volume right after that so look at the bottom left side so as soon we close we can create a volume and as usual read the information click on next and we are going to have this a uh, mirrored disk we will leave alone the size approximately 10 gigabyte but the drive letter we can change to h as in henry you can scroll down and change the drive letter and uh, we gonna choose h next and we gonna have a file system new one from windows server 2012 or to we have this resilience file system so when you see you click on next let me put a detail as well what is a resilience file system so i gonna just add a pop up where you can look at the information about the refs while well, we doing this one and this is a mirrored volume so type a mirrored volume you can pause the screen and and take a look about the resilience file system confirm the selection review whatever you just have done and click on create wait until it completes then we gonna just demonstrate copying a file from one location to a different location so i can use a gui method or i can use a traditional copy method through the command line so this is done this is completed all right so we can launch a command line from start menu either way you can use file explorer just click on quick access window type cmd and that will launch your command line and we can copy a write.exe from a system root to over root of h drive so this command will work once you hit enter you will see one file is copied once it is done we can verify by going into the h volume just to make sure from explorer that we do have a write.exe file available what we just copied so bottom left side mirrored volume h is right there we just created that one and write.exe is there so now from the mirror we can remove a physical drive just to simulate a drive failure for testing purposes so because uh, this was a hyper v manager on top of it svr1 is a, a virtual server so we can right click on svr1 from settings we can look at the setting processors memory drive network card so we will see all hard drives there and i'm going to remove one hard drive from disk 1 you can take a look a close look of those drives or all other components I am running this with 2 gigabyte memory one processor but I am going to pick first drive which is disk 1 and you just simply click on remove and this will remove the drive once you remove the drive we want to make sure that 
the file which we just copied is still available after we remove it so we can go back to the explorer so we are done from this part and what we want to verify that write.exe what we copied using a command line is still available even we remove the drive so out of the storage pool now once we verify so i'm just putting this in a note as well still exists yes it does so now we're going to refresh the storage pool we're going to see other problem now because we have one drive missing so we may or we should see a warning once we refresh it we're going to check the health as well the drive health storage pool health so it's loading the data so far so good but we know that we removed a drive so we will see that here something is missing something is wrong somewhere we do have a warning so you see the mirror disk has a warning sign all right so we can check the health as well from the properties of the mirror disk and also we see the generic physical disk has a lost communication so we did verify that so we can see this warning now we can replace this disk as well if we want to remove this one we can remove you can use a gui way you can use a powershell either way but we are going to add a new disk to this storage pool and remove this disk which is i would say broken so that will be our next step so what i want to provide you here just a concept this is a very high level concept a very high level idea for those who work with the storage so this is a very good new technology in windows server 2012 r2 and 2016 so we can easily manage our storage right from our server manager so here i'm going to add a new physical disk to the storage pool so we can choose first available disk from here click on ok and we also after this we can go and use powershell we can use a get dash physical disk get dash physical disk command to look at our storage look at our disks and we will see our uh, disk names so we are going to use the friendly name of this disk which has a broken broken status so get dash physical disk i put in a pop up also we're going to use couple of more commands especially uh, my next video contains a lot of powershell commands so i'm going to add all of them on my screen here we see generic physical disk so this disk actually lost communication so we are going to remove this you can use a powershell command i already typed the command offline so you don't have to watch me typing this all that could be a typo as well so uh, just uh, let me add a pop up as well so here you can see the command just replace the disk name from the first command to generic physical disk as i see on the top in the first row generic physical disk in a single quote once you complete hit enter and you will see a prompt for confirmation so where you have to response with yes
and I'm going to add another pop-up here. So uh, explaining that what was done in this lab with the part one. So I do have a very complex part also coming up, but uh, I just gonna stop this video after this completion and I will make a separate video and where I gonna put a lot of a lot of PowerShell commands and also I'm going to add those commands into my screen so where you can see and easily can uh, use them of course uh, as i said uh, i can provide you a power shell uh, uh, pdf like with contains all powershell so we did complete this all storage pool added disks and we used a created a three web mirror i hope you like this video so stay tuned for the second part of this video so we just verified everything so you can always always contact me uh, in the beginning of the lab you have my email as well thank you so much for watching video bye